and welcome back my friends to some more stone block adventures with the old man deep down on the ground in the darkness of our stony stone block stone cave if this makes any sense possibly not so let's not dwell on that welcome back my friends <laughs> anyway let's get started straight with the business because we have a lot of things to go over because a lot of things have happened in between the episodes and maybe let's start with the problem after finishing up the recording and making the video i said to myself old man what were you promising because for sifting through dust and gravel and sand and all the stuff we need cobblestone and of course we don't have a cobblestone generator yet <laughs> so i've been contemplating what to do where to go because i want to keep the promise and i did keep the promise so don't you worry all the chests up there or over there are stacked up with some goodies from our sifting setup here but uh, yeah that was not easy however i've been lying in bed with a cold which is still dragging on i'm not sure if you can tell but i'm speaking a little bit out of my nose here <laughs> it's pretty annoying in a way but uh, yeah i've been thinking about that we actually need also a food setup where yeah, we grow some food, have some animals, etc. Because, yeah, I think by next episode, we will be there. Actually, we start with this this episode. So, yeah, I've been lying in bed, being sick and so on. I said, okay, then let's just mine a whole room out, which will see our garden set up. Or, yeah, a little fruit garden, vegetable garden, etc., etc. And, of course, the animal farms. So, that is the result of, yeah, I'm not sure how many hours of digging out with a pickaxe because we don't even have a hammer yet <laughs> that has been pretty bad but uh, yeah i thought it's not a bad idea to do this while being sick and lying in bed because that's the only thing i really could do boring things which don't require any brain cell so yeah i managed and as promised i sift through nine stacks of dust nine stacks of sand nine stacks of gravel and three stacks of dirt as before with the new yeah, meshes we have here. The, I think this is the flint mesh. No, this is the iron mesh and the flint mesh we made last episode. And let's maybe continue that over here. So this is what we got out of the flint meshes. So the next tier after the silk mesh. And that is nine stacks of gravel. Of course, we get tons of iron out, which I'm very happy about. A little bit more coal, which I'm even more happy about in a way, but nothing really on the side of fancy. Some aluminum, copper, lead and osmium. And I think the amount is, yeah, a little bit more than what we got from the silk meshes. So that is not so bad. Then dirt, however, gave, these are only three stacks of dirt. They gave a lot. So of course the stone pebbles, then we get granite, diorite and andesite pebbles. So we have some different materials now to build our base camp with and or base cave. And then we got some yeah flax seeds. I think we didn't get them with the silk mesh beetroot. That is not so bad. Yeah, grass. Oh, grass seeds. Okay, actually we could make grass then straight away. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah, potato we had, canola seeds, I think we didn't have. Pumpkin we had, rice seeds, which is not so bad. Coffee, everyone likes coffee, so I'm very happy about that. <laughs> then carrots we had, sugarcane we had, melon we had, and some mandrel sapling. Now I'm not sure what else will be coming out if we sift through more dirt, but I think once we have the automation we will see. I think we can get some more saplings here as well. Yeah, we'll see about this. This is all work in progress and hopefully we can get started with the automation this episode. So, yeah, let's continue here. This is now the result of nine stacks of sand. We get iron again and then some, yeah, gold and silver, etc., etc. Not so bad. Then some cocoa beans, I think we had before. And cactus seeds. What is the difference here? Cactus? Okay. Did we have here cactus as well? Or possibly not. Okay, so we have now cactus as well. I think we had it already last episode. Then, uh, yeah, down here is then the, the dust, which is pretty pathetic. But I think uh, we get in addition now gunpowder and some crushed black quartz, which is not so bad. So, yeah, this is the result of sitting with the um, 
next to your mesh, the flint mesh, and this is the result of the iron mesh. And here I have to say I'm a little bit disappointed. Actually, I'm completely disappointed about the output, but then this is pretty fancy. Then, yeah, one of you left the feedback concerning my question if these meshes actually degrade, and no, they don't, at least not in stone block. I think that's possibly disabled. So that is not so bad. This is actually a brilliant update, I have to say. So not all is bad and lost. And yeah, we shouldn't be too bad looking at the whole situation. The glass is half full. Let's say it like that. <laughs> anyway, this is now the result of nine stacks of gravel. And we get a little bit more iron out than some other uh, yeah, orbits and pieces, some more coal than we have lapis now. And we have our first diamonds. And I think with five diamonds, we can make our first diamond mesh. So I think until next episode, perhaps I will try to get this whole setup made with diamond meshes. We'll see about this. But uh, yeah, once we have our automation, I think this becomes kind of obsolete. We'll see. Let's explore on this side today. But what I'm extremely happy about is the emerald situation. We got nine emeralds out. So apparently the emeralds drop more than the diamonds, which is confusing, but uh, nice because we can make a marketplace. And let's see if we can do this straight away because today all is about food and some quests, obviously. <laughs> anyway, this is now the result of dirt. It's just dirt, so it doesn't sift through the iron mesh and I think also not through the diamond mesh. So yeah, we can only get stuff from sifting through dirt with the silk mesh and the, the flint mesh. So that is something we have to keep an eye on. Then this is the result of nine stacks of sand. Again, tons of iron, which I'm very happy about. Then other ores, bits and pieces. Then yellorium. And actually, oh, let's use the yellorium straight away. Because we can make, uh, yeah, the block for smelting up cobblestone or converting cobblestone quicker to lava in the, in the barrel over there. Then, uh, yeah, prosperity shard. And I think we finished with this a quest off. And ancient spores. I think with this we can do some, yeah, the um, soil which grows mushrooms or where we can grow mushrooms on. So that's not so bad. And that's the result of nine stacks of dust. Again, some silver, no iron, which is pretty interesting. I think we got iron here. No, we didn't get iron out of dust. Okay, so that is then solved, this problem. <laughs> and yeah, we got bone meal out, which is not so bad. Then Surtur Squad, so the ME system bases. We got some redstone out. I think we can start with some automations with this one. And some glowstone and some blaze powder, which is not so bad. But uh, yeah, all in all, it's pretty disappointing. I think they balanced quite a lot the whole output of the sifts which, yeah, makes kind of sense because that would force really an automation instead of, yeah, standing here with a huge setup like this and then just sifting for an hour and having all the resources in the world. So, yeah, it's not too bad. It's, yeah, the glass is half full. Let's say it like so. <laughs> I'm very happy about this. Then, yeah, here I did then the rearrangement of all Tinker's bench work setup. And I have to say, these chests look pretty nice. I think there's a change in the texture, a quite dramatic change in the texture. And actually it looks cool now to have them not on the ground as we did last episode, which didn't work, but just next to each other. That looks pretty cool, I have to say. So yeah, also I took then the liberty to make already some patterns to make a pickaxe. The hammer I tried, but for this we need the smeltery. I think, and the, no, not the smeltery, but the tool forge, which yeah, I think we can try to finish off today as well. And uh, yeah, maybe hammering with a hammer is then a little bit easier. And oh, 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 oh. not easy is of course the, the whole ah, evolved enderman situation. Come on, knucklehead, come here. Feel the Admiral's sword. Come on, where are you now? Now you see the old man at work. Oh, now he's coming. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah, I was once hit pretty badly. I barely survived. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I didn't die yet. So what is this leaf block doing there? Now the Enderman is not coming. Or maybe he doesn't want to step over the grass. Come on. Come on. Oh, no, no, no. Hello. Hello, Enderman. Come on. 
You oh, now you are scared of the old man. What is going on with you? Yeah, he doesn't want to step over the grass. Hey, hello. Oh, now he is coming. Okay, he is not happy with the old man here. Making fun of him. All green and black and glowy and play strong. And thank you very much for the ender pearl. And talking about ender pearls and loot output, this is now our official mob farm. And I think there is another enderman over there. Yeah, they spawn apparently everywhere. Possibly not on a slept floor but uh, yeah so we have to slap all the floors because they get pretty annoying and you will see why in a moment let's maybe take this knucklehead out now i finished off the um, mob farm as yeah according to the layout which i introduced or showed at the end of at the very end of last episode and uh, i have to say it's working however it's slow obviously the spawn space is not so big but I'm a little bit confused because either there are caves around, but uh, all the spawns should be concentrated here in this area. Because if this is all a massive stone setup here, then there are no caves. So I'm a little bit confused why the spawn rate is pretty low. However, it's working, but it is dangerous. <laughs> so yeah, because we have to go pretty close. And sometimes we are hit and uh, yeah, that's not fun. I almost died on a skeleton attack while taking the, trying to take the skellies out. And uh, yeah, that was not fun. And with the creepers, don't get me started. <laughs> None exploded yet, but uh, yeah, there is that. Now on the side of loot, it's also, well, I don't know, we get mostly um, skellies in here and only a few zombies I think this is the result of like two zombies and I waited possibly for half an hour which is pretty bad of course it's not really optimized either and I didn't go back whenever I saw a red dot but uh, yeah compared to the skellies that's pretty pathetic so it will take some time I think we need 12 or 16 of the rotten flesh to finish off this quest it might take some time. That's the main message here. <laughs> but yeah, on the side of ender pearls, I have to say that is not so bad. We have now seven ender pearls, so the quest is finished off, and I think we can do some bits and pieces because ender pearls are always necessary. And we get also some heads out. That is not so bad. Then there was a witch or two witches actually. Then we get ender tears out, but most importantly, something I didn't know, we get loot bags out which I'm very happy about. And also we have some armor and maybe let's put the armor on just in case to be yeah, a little bit more protected. And it's nice and neat red. Let's see how we look. Uh, no, blue. Admiral's color. I like that <laughs> very much indeed. Now let's open up the loot bags and then see where we continue. Dynamite for same power as charge creeper, same strength as ender crystal. Okay. Dynamite, okay, I'm not happy with the dynamite <laughs> because me and explosives are no good friends, that's for sure. So let's maybe stash this deep away in in a chest. Uh, an upgrade, that's not so bad. An enter sack, portable enter chest. Ooh, that is, that is brilliant. Okay, nice, that's a nice output and some upgrade for, yeah, a system possibly you will never build. That is a golden chest transport water okay and some iron chest plate fully repaired that is not so bad yeah let's stash this all in here we'll see i will just continue to work on the bits and pieces concerning the loot from the mobs especially rotten flesh in between the episodes so it's working but it's extremely dangerous so you cannot really stand here and kill the knuckleheads they will attack so you have to go back and forth so yeah it's not a it's a flawed design let's call it like that <laughs> anyway let's continue let's see about the uh, yellorium i'm not sure if we oh we can smelt it up like this and it gives ingots okay so we need nine then we can take this lava puddle out and replace it by yellorium a yellorium block and be significantly fast on the side of lava production because i've been thinking over here, and I think I will do this once we have a hammer, we're gonna dig out some rooms for power generation and um, as a backup generator or first tier generator, we will have a lava situation, lava generator for yeah, powering possibly the automated sieve. I think that should work. 
and uh, yeah because it's with the yellowing block we produce a lot of lava so the bottleneck of lava production is closed kind of with the uh, yeah with the fast production of lava so that is not so bad and we should have this and let's maybe see about this how fast this is and i think it works with the block like so exact the window we just put this down here and then of course all the lava is inside but the rate is now 20 times this is more than six times faster than what we had just yeah at the beginning of this recording so that is absolutely fantastic that should do we have a few of those and pump the lava out and then pump it into a lava generator and that should work like a charm now Oh no, we are almost at the end of the episode. What did we do? Nothing. The old man was just waffling the minutes down. Unbelievable. But yeah, too much things happened in between the episodes. However, while doing some bits and pieces, there were some quests which were finished off. So yeah, the diamond mesh we can actually do straight away because I think we need four or five diamonds for that. So let's take the diamonds out. So where are these knuckleheads? Here we go. So that we have at least done some quests. And then also in other quest lines, I heard a little sound. So the some of the quests should be done. At least two, I think. So we'll see about this in a moment. Mesh. Yeah, let's finish first the diamond mesh. Okay, we need four. Okay, that's not so bad. Here we go. Nice. Loot chest number one of today. That is absolutely fantastic. Then, yeah, here we have to wait. We could, yeah, see about the smeltery, but let's maybe see about the auto sieve. Oh, whoa, what's going on here? This is running through the explanation. That is not so good. <laughs> so we have to make an auto sieve, and I think we should be able to pull this one off. Auto sieve, here we go. And I think this is the, yeah, there's an auto heavy sieve. Uh, okay, so we need just block of iron, iron ingot, a sieve, which we have, and glass. Okay, okay, let's maybe, um, I think we should have, how much did we need? We needed two blocks of iron. Yeah, we will be able to pull this one off. Just need to smelt up some glass and we are on it here. So let's, yeah, let's do this. Let's stack this all up. Then we need sand. I think we had some sand. Let's convert maybe half of it into glass with our infamous diamond furnace, which is extremely fast. It should be there. I think we need six for a pain. Like I said, let me just take one of the sieves out over there and be happy about it. This will be all remedied. I think once we have the automation, it's a nice setup. It looks nice. I would like to keep it kind of, but uh, yeah. Let's maybe finish first off this quest here and we can always build it. So we have not done this. Nice, nice, nice. The Admiral is a professional today. Another quest. So all this quest line is now done. Yeah, here we have to wait and maybe the cobblestone generator. That would be of help because then I don't need to dig out more rooms. So let's maybe make the first year cobble generator. And then for the last or in the remaining one, two minutes, see about the food situation. Couple generator, here we go. That should be easy. It's just iron, a cobblestone generator, which is just lava and water and um, and glass. But do we need light gray stained glass? No, each glass will work. I hope so. <laughs> but we need two buckets, so let's make a another bucket oh and there was something else i wanted to explore on this episode so we have already lava uh, let's get down to some water as well and what else was there a cobbled generator what oh this is tier two okay so we just need cobblestone and glass and we should have glass here nice and cobblestone is in here wow that is professional Professionals at work here. <laughs> here we go. Nice, nice, nice. This is the basis of automation. We have now a cobblestone generator. And out of stuff, and I think we got as a reward some some pipes as well. So we could actually next episode set up a little yeah automation on the side of sifting. The first tier automation, kind of. Now we have wait a minute, did we turn into quest? No, claim. Of course, we did not claim the reward. So these are the higher tiers, to which will come soon enough. But let's see about other quests, because there was... Oh, yeah, here. So we got as a 
Yeah, while sifting through, I think, um, or with the iron meshes, we got the prosperity shards. So let's turn this quest in as well. We have 16 and then Inferium Essence. I think that came from a from a mob drop in the mob farm. So yeah, let's turn this one in as well. And we have now to open five loot bags. How professional is that? So let's maybe stash this all temporarily in here. Yeah, let's deal with the market maybe next episode. Let's yeah, dump this all in here. Maybe not the food, food is essential have enough space for the loot chests and for the yeah for the rewards look at this nether star crooks okay another crooks we have here a legendary reward okay we take your word for it game <laughs> we'll see <laughs> then an ultra rare reward nice a charm mining okay increase your tools mining radius to three times three now thank you very much game that i could have <sighs> that could have used in the video episodes. I've been mining for hours while lying in bed. But uh, yeah, now we have one, but we will have a hammer anyway. <laughs> then, okay, more food. That is, yeah, okay, solves kind of the food situation. Then Black Lotus, it emits strong magical vibes. Okay. Uh, and that is a punchy stick, uh, just a reward, a punchy stick. Pointy, all the sticks to walls. Okay, now well, I have no idea what this is all about. Not too bad though. We got uh, ultra rare reward and some, some, uh, yeah, extremely rare reward or whatever. So that is not so bad. <laughs> anyway, okay, the food farms, we have all the seeds, so the primary vanilla seeds and some additional seeds. So I will set this up so you see here kind of the idea. And we don't need a lot because we are alone and hunger is not really an issue in this mud pack let's maybe deal for the final minute here with something crazy which i mentioned kind of in the first or second episode uh the jumping or hopping bonsai because this would automate the wood production <laughs> hopping bonsai pot okay so we have yeah we have iron so we have a hopper and a bonsai pot so let's maybe make yeah, let's make a few of those, or two, at least. Uh, do we have... Oh no, where's the iron now? Somehow I stashed the iron away. No, not here, obviously. It's in the last chest I will look into. Yeah, here we go. That should be... And do we have a chest? No, we don't have a chest, but that is okay. And we need... Oh yeah, I also made some more clay. So we needed, I think, one to five pieces. Okay, let's smelt these knuckleheads up. That should do. This is 12. Yeah, we need... 10 for 2. We have 12. Okay, so while this is doing, let's make some... Come on, game. Don't be difficult today. Let's make two chests. Because I would like to see if this also works with... It works with vanilla trees. But I would like to see if it also works with the um, Pam's Harvestcraft trees, which would be absolutely fantastic, I have to say. So, yeah, let's make two hoppers. Like a shoe. Nice, nice, nice. And then we are here. Done. Then we have two bonsai pots. Yeah, let's make two. And then the hopping bonsai. And we just can pluck... Uh, no, not the buckets, but uh, this, these guys here. We can pluck a chest underneath and it will dump the stuff into the chest. Let's do this as well. Yes, let's convert all of this. Let's make uh, at least two chests, like a shoe. And the setup got to be on maybe here in the front here and here a whole line if it works with them um, with the Pam's harvest craft trees that yeah we're gonna have like a lot then around because we get all the fruits out etc and yeah over there gonna be the animal farm so this apparently this works like a so then we have to put some dirt inside which I should have somewhere oh yeah dirt is over here because the, the sifting didn't work with the dirt, so let's do this. And I think we have an apple sapling, which is Pam's harvest craft. Yeah, here we go. And let's make also an oak sapling, like a so. And that should then actually work. They will grow slowly. Oh, yeah, here we go. Oh, nice. Oh, no, 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 look at this. What am I doing here? Next, go the saplings inside. Yeah, so this... Oh, yeah, it's growing. Oh, here we go. Oh, look at that. Oh, that is cool. Nice, 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 nice. It will harvest and I think we get also apples out here. We get, yeah, I'm not sure if we get leaves out. I don't think so, but saplings and wood and possibly apples. 
and let's see if this works with the Pam's Harvest Craft. And it does! Oh, that is brilliant! So once we have a mug, if we buy all the saplings of the different fruit trees, and this will all be automated, so we don't need to grow big trees, because, yeah, I don't really want to go higher in the room setup. And here we go, yeah, we get sticks out, okay, oak wood, and possibly apples, and we'll see if we get here apples out. I hope, I hope, I hope, I hope, please, please, please. Come on, game, don't be difficult. It's the final minute here. And, oh wow, that's uh, that's pretty cool. <laughs> and here we go. Oh, it might not work because the apples didn't grow yet. Now, well, we'll see. We'll see next episode if we get apples out of that. Then we get the other fruits as well. I read it works with Pam's Harvest Craft, but uh, yeah, this apple comes from the oak tree. Anyway, what is now with the dirt going on? It's converting into a different type of dirt, which is weird. Now, well, anyway, let's finish off this episode. We did quite some stuff, handed in like, I think, five quests. That is not so bad, by accident, in a way. So, yeah, we'll just continue along these lines. And next episode, for sure and for certain, we will set up our first automation and this mallory, which is, yeah, really becoming a requirement to not to waste our efforts on getting only one ingot per whatever but double or triple hour or output. That is for sure and for certain. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this, yeah, again, a little bit longer episode. And excuse the old man being sick and under the weather still. But uh, yeah, I hope you come back next time when we start with some solid automation. Deep underground in the darkness of our stony stone block stone cave. If this makes any sense, possibly not. So let's not dwell on that. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Over and out. Good hunting. And yes, hopefully see you next time.